I wanted to make pads underneath that melody and I didn't know how to. So I was always following one rule. That rule was I'm following the bass line. Chord means that you're playing at least two notes at the same time. And making a chord in, in any scale, F Lydian, A major, C mixolydian, it always is a simple rule. You make your first note, which is right here, and then you skip one and make a note here. Then skip one and make a note here and you have three note chord. That's your basic F Lydian or F major chord. Yeah, sounds like this. Pretty decent. How do I know this is major? When you look at the number of notes in between these first two notes, if it's three, it's gonna be a minor no a chord. If it's four, it's a major chord, okay? In any scales, in any scales, the basic chord will be either minor or major. It has nothing to do with the scale name, it's just the naming of those. If this is like that, this is called minor chord. If it's like this, that's a major chord. In Evlidian, since we are skipping always one free note, like full note, it's the F major. And we continue in this way, we're adding one more note here. Now we're gonna be doing the G, skipping one, putting one. This one again is major. I'm going up, A. See, and this one is A minor, because I only skipped like two notes here. And we continue in, the, in this succession. Oops. And these are all the chords we have in F Lydian. If I go over here and try to put notes in here, I'm basically just doing this one, one octave higher. It's the same thing, okay? So I don't have to do this one. And now these are all the chords, let's play them. Let's see how they sound. And now we can pick which ones we will use for our melody. Uh, when I'm really, really stuck and don't know what to do, I actually do put all the chords in the scale I want to work with and I'm just like, hitting play button. Un until it sounds nice, until I find the chord progression I like. In this case, I'm still not happy, but I would probably go F, A, these four. In the past when I was doing chords, like pads, for, first of all, I always did like melodies, okay? I was just jamming, made a melody, was super happy. But then I wanted to make pads underneath that melody and I didn't know how to. So I was always following one rule. That rule was I'm following the bass line. So if my bass line was set, then I tried to make chords following the bass line of the melody. I was like, okay, that sounds really nice, but I'm struggling. I, I just didn't know what to do. And then I... Uh, I went to school. There were some basics of music theory and then it just clicked in like if I want to make a nice chord progression all I need to do is to always have that common note. The common note in, in chords is the note that those two chords next to each other have in common. That's really simple to understand. So if I want to make a next chord for here in the F Lydian and I want to use have at least one of these notes to be common with the next one I can use one of these as the next bass note. So if this is F, the next bass note I can use C or I can use A. So this one, for example. That will be my next bass. So I'm gonna make the chord and now I have... And then the next one I can again use from these two. I can either use E or I can use C. In this case I'm gonna choose C. And again on the next one I can use E or G and I'm deciding I'm gonna use G and I'm just going to put it all one octave lower like this and this is my like super basic chord progression in F Lydian you might argue that there is no common notes from here to here but if you look at this there is one thing you can do, and that basically is that you can suspend 
a chord, you know, by one note, usually you suspend this middle note. So anything in the middle, in these chords, is, is the middle note, and you can suspend it, suspend it down or up. If you suspend it down, this is called sus2, that's like the way how they call it. If you suspend it up, it's called sus4. In this case, I like all these chords, but over here I have this one. Maybe if I put it to sus4, which is the C, then I have the common note actually with this one as well. So let's first play it without and with. And you can hear it's like very magical, you know, it sounds sounds different, more more mature and more professional. You don't have to do it this way. You can, for example, split this one in two and use both of them, you know. This one is here basically because we want this one to have a common note with this chord. This way, when you loop this endlessly, it will always sound good. And it will just feel like it's natural and it was meant to be. So in this case, we can keep it like this. And let's play, let's see how it sounds. This is like the first rule of, of several rules of how to make a catchy melody. The first one that we just did is that you make this loopable. So it can just loop endlessly and it will sound good. Now what I'm going to do with all this, I'm gonna take all the bass notes I'm gonna copy them and paste them one octave lower. Why I'm doing this? Because this is my bass line. And if I want to use like a you know sub bass in my track, I will have a hint to follow this one. And then if you look at these chords right now, these are pretty basic right now, okay? This note this like all over the place. This is like octave higher, and it's horrible. To make sure that these are playing nice together, you can do something which is called inversion. And inversion basically means that you take one or two notes and just shift them either octave higher or octave lower. In this case, when I look at this, what do you think would be the best course of action? Going down or up? Let's try down. No. And maybe this one, and maybe this one. Let's listen if it sounds good. like nice but when these are playing now it's we coming to the point where it also becomes about taste you know there's one thing about music theory that nobody wants you to know and it's a hidden thing but whatever notes in a scale you play together it sounds good you know it's just about the taste if you like it so for example i don't like this first chord when it's looping so maybe i would like put it down here and see how it's gonna sound 